I'm Marnie Walsh and I'm um, working with Jean at Divine Play and having a really good time with it. <laughs> <laughs> simple, simple. Yeah. I just want to kind of know from you, what have the implications of learning the three principles with Jean, what implications has that had on your life? Lots. And it's hard to even put it to words because it's so much more a feeling, you know, than something you can talk about and touch, which is one of the tricky things about it, but it is, it's, um, I think the biggest thing that I've gotten out of it so far is knowing that when I'm in a low state of consciousness, a low mood, that it's okay, one, <laughs> and two, that it's going to shift. So, like, I don't have to get upset about where I am. I still do sometimes, but to be able to just kind of sit with it because it's not just you know accepting it but it's knowing that it's going to it's going to move in another direction that, um, that that's just the human experience yeah, I, I get very in my head so this I'm uh, doing this weekend with Dick and well. amazing like a refresher like a reminder that that that's not real, that that's not, that's, you know, because you get so, I get so fixed on these thoughts, and I know that they're thoughts, and I know that it's my thinking about something that's causing my feelings, <laughs> but I, then I start thinking about that, you know? Um, so I think, like last night, I, I, went, I wasn't even thinking about it. I wasn't, you know, I, but I slept like a baby and I had all of these like really insightful dreams and I woke up and I felt like I did when I would wake up as a teenager, you know, it was kind of, I just had this peace that just sort of washed over me because I wasn't in my head because I had this, you know, this wisdom that I, you know, wasn't even trying to get, you know, that they're just thoughts and that's not real, which is pretty profound. I'm waiting for it to trickle down to my parenting, but I have like, you know, <laughs> but the times that I've been really immersed in it, like this weekend and then um, the other workshop that I did, going home to my kids has been like, just so moving. Cause I just, you know, I look at them and they're like, they get it. They, they are just being all the time. You know, and then to be able to just be with them, it's so much more important than, you know, you gotta fold your underwear properly, <laughs> you know, can you empty the dishwasher? Like, that's all, like, you know, yeah, it's so important. So what I'm hearing for an implication is that you're more present and more in a space of love with your yeah. family members. Yeah, definitely. In the realization that this is where it's at. This is where life. This is it. Is that? This is. It's. It, it's. And it. And to know that it's. That it's within us all. You know. I get into conversations with my girlfriend, who's very much in. You know. She's been in therapy since she was 14, and she's very much in that. You know. That paradigm. And she can't understand what I'm saying when I say that there's nothing really wrong with any of us. You know. Because we're so. I feel like it's so ingrained in us to think we have. To, we have to fix something. There's something there that needs to be fixed. So to know that that even if we're feeling imperfect, we have it in us already. Like we don't need somebody else to help us fix it. We've got it. We just need to kind of shut up about everything, you know, and and listen to what's there. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's beautiful. 